essentially almost completely fatty replaced breast. Again, a few scattered densities in the breast. Uh, MLO view, standard 2D. And here we have now, as a comparison, look at this. This is a spot compression view done at the same time when some of my colleagues were still doing spot compression views. And this is the density. It looks, le it looks more uh, innocent after the spot view. And that's why I've told my colleagues in the past, don't let spot views talk you out of a great call. But on Tomo, you don't have to worry about that because look at it on Tomo. You can see, one again, it's a, a focally dense mass with irregular margins, and you can appreciate that quite easily. This is the lateral Tomo that was done, and we, we can see clearly uh, that this is a uh, speculated mass, very small and very dense. And we will see on ultrasound that is how subtle this lesion was. We found it. We biopsied it. It was malignant, um, but it only measured four millimeters, and that's kind of generous measurement as, at, at that. Um, here we go with another relatively fatty replaced breast, and this is an interesting story as well. This is a teacher who was supposed to come in February for our mammogram, but she had uh, some personal issues that came up, and so she couldn't come to May, in, until May. If she had come in February, we wouldn't have had the tomosynthesis, and she would have probably been called negative because this mammogram would have been read most, and actually in our research study was read as negative. Um, and what we're going to what I'm going to show you is in the right breast. Again, I'm showing you very some very subtle cases, but the nice thing about tomosynthesis is subtle on a standard 2D mammogram. A subtle finding had a high probability of being benign. A subtle finding in tomosynthesis has a much higher probability of being malignant. So here we see this is the area of interest, and here we can see just a subtle area of architectural distortion. And here's a second area of architectural distortion. And we can kind of see that there is a little uh, line of subtle lesions along on the CC view that on the MLO view actually somewhat overlap, which you'll see on the actually on the, uh, the AVI a little bit better. So, but as we look at the CC, uh, you'll, you'll be able to appreciate the two main lesions that we saw and you'll, they'll come in, uh, that's one, and that was the other one. And when we look at the um, MLO, okay, here's one lesion, and as we come through, as we're paging through, we're going to see the second set of lesions here. And this was an infiltrating lobular cancer, uh, multifocal infiltrating lobular cancer. So, and each of these lesions were less than five millimeters in size. Um, the interesting thing, uh, of the, most of the tumors we're finding on tomosynthesis are actually invasive tumors, the ones that we, we don't see on, um, on 2D. They're, the vast majority are invasive tumors, and they're of all types, both um, high-grade, low-grade, infiltrating lobular, different types. This next patient is also fatty-replaced breast. We have a few scattered densities, and what we can see, though, is one of those densities. Again, here's a spot view. Does that spot view really help you? Not that much. Does this help you? I think quite a bit. What we can see, high-density mass, although it's not speculated, you can clearly see that it has irregular margins, and this is only a 4-millimeter lesion. And again, you'll see this only in focus on maybe two images. So it's this very small lesion. This was uh, a patient that was, uh, this was a quite remarkable case. I, here's, I, even after knowing where this, this lesion is, uh, I have a hard time finding it because um, it's very, very subtle. So here's her standard 2D MLO view. Here's her uh, standard, uh, 2D CC view, and I know some of you may be looking at this, and maybe you would have called that back, or maybe you think that was 
the, the cancer, and you would have called it back there because you have a very good eye, but you would have been wrong on, in both the cases. Uh, that's not the area of interest. Here we can see on the uh, tomosynthesis views a very tiny lesion with architectural distortion. Here's the blow up of that. And look, there's that calcification. That calcification is here. So if we go back, it's somewhere in here. But I don't think any, any even Superman would have been able to see that. Here we'll see just how briefly we see that little uh, distortion. And this was an invasive uh, ductal cancer. Here it is on the CC view. This is the uh, uh, small lesion that's spigulated, and this was three millimeters. And that's it on ultrasound. I think I hear the jaws dropping as, I, as I'm talking about this. That's the reaction I get when I'm presenting this to other physicians uh, so far, and I, and I can't blame them. So there's the bio, post-biopsy clip. Um, and here we again, if I, I'm emphasizing the fatty replaced breast just because that's not where we thought we would see a lot of help from tomosynthesis. And actually, I almost kind of prefer it in fatty replaced breasts because when you do, you can see very, very subtle lesions that would be difficult to see. Okay, so here we have our standard 2D images. And what we're going to see, let me go back, you're going to see, this This is kind of the area of interest, but I'm not sure if anybody would have been real excited about calling that back. Um, and what we actually saw, the true story is that this was initially seen um, by one radiologist, and the second lesion was seen at the time when they came back for their ultrasound. So there was ac there's actually two lesions here, which you'll, you'll see a little bit better here. So what we have is this area of uh, distortion here, which is blown up here in the upper portion of the breast. And about six centimeters away, there's a second lesion, which we see better here. So this was two, a multifocal uh, cancer. Um, again, think about whether you were scanning this patient. Now, hopefully, when you see a malignant lesion, you do a whole breast ultrasound. Not everyone does. Um, but think about this was the cancer that was originally seen, and this is what you would have had to find. This is that same lesion that had increased blood flow. But this was the second area, and look how subtle that is. Very, very subtle. And would you have called that on uh, on your evaluation in ultrasound? I think the probability is probably not. So there's the post biopsy clips, and we can see the two different lesions again, both uh, infiltrating ductal cancers. Mm -hmm.